In round 9 of the 2018 Chess Olympiad in Batumi, Georgia, all eyes were focused on the matchup between the United States and Poland. So in this video, I'm covering the game on board 1, uh, the game between Jan Christoph Duda and Fabiano Caruana. So bear with me as this is going to be quite a long game. So Duda had white pieces, Caruana with black. Let's dive into this. Duda opens with c4, e5, knight c3, knight f6, the English opening, knight to f3, knight c6, e3, bishop b4, and queen to c2. So preparing to meet bishop takes c3 with queen takes c3. Black plays queen to e7, defending uh, the pawn on e5. We have d4, striking in the center, knight to e4, and here, uh, this knight to e4 move forces the queen uh, to an awkward square, queen to d3. Uh, because if you play queen to c2, then black simply takes on d4. And now, since this file is opened up, uh, he can give a discovery with knight to g3 check, winning the exchange. Therefore, white plays queen to d3 here. We have e takes d4, knight takes d4, again not e takes because then uh, this opens up the e-file for black's queen. Black castles, we have bishop to e2. And here Caruana goes queen to b4 check. So this discourages uh, white from castling because if bishop b2, then simply queen takes b2. And if rook b1, then you take on d2. Things are traded off. And black is simply up a pawn. So here, king to f1 from Duda. We have queen to e7, uh, the queen has served its purpose, so now it drops back to defend this knight. f3 from Duda, so trying to kick away this knight, and also uh, with ideas of pushing e4 in the future. Knight c5 with a tempo on the queen, queen to c3, d6 preparing to develop the light square bishop, we have knight takes c6, this doubles black's pawn structure on the queen side, and here b3 from Duda, so preparing to fianchetto this bishop. We have a5 from Caruana, so stopping white from going b4. And also black has ideas of pushing a4 in the future. Bishop b2, we have f5, so this protects uh, the mate threatened on g7. Rook to d1, discouraging black from going d5. Bishop e6, king f2, uh, connecting the rooks. And here a4 from Caruana. Duda pushes with b4, we have knight d7 and rook to d2 from Duda, so trying to bring this rook over to c1 where it would give more protection to the c4 pawn. f4 from Caruana. If white goes e4, then here queen to h4 is very annoying. After king to f1, then this rook is simply out of the game. So here rook to c1 from Duda. We have rook a to e8, bringing the rook to an open file. And here rook to d4 from Duda. Uh, a strange move which blocks this queen bishop battery, uh, trying to encourage black to take on e3. But here taking on f4 is perfectly fine. After rook takes f4, then something like king to g1, white is okay. But here rook d4 from Duda. We have e takes, uh, sorry, f takes e3, queen takes e3, and here because this rook is on d4, now c5 from black. And after b takes, now the knight gets a very nice outpost on c5. King to g1 from Duda, queen to f7, so black is threatening some discoveries with this bishop. Therefore, queen to f2. And here bishop d7 uh, seems like a good idea, posting this bishop up on c6. Uh, because it controls this d5 square, which could be important for white. But here, instead of bishop d7, Caruana plays bishop f5, uh, which is also okay. So opening up uh, the rook. Bishop f1, we have rook to e7, so Caruana is intending to double on the e file. Here, bishop a3, uh, threatening to take this knight, so now rook to e5 from Caruana. Queen to d2, so with ideas of maybe rook playing rook to d5, and also this queen can come over to the a5 square, looking at these pawns. Rook f to e8, we have rook to d5, 
So if black plays rook takes d5, then this would be uh, good for white because now the c-file opens up and this knight really doesn't have a good square to go to. And c7 will always be a target. So here h6 from Caruana, a waiting move. We have bishop takes c5, d takes c5. So uh, for now, black's pawn structure is messed up. Queen to a5, looking at these pawns. Queen to e7, so it's always nice to have triple queen and rooks. And also queen to e7 has the idea of bringing the queen into the position on the dark squares. Here white uh, can take this pawn, but uh, Car sorry, Duda decides to play more uh, precautiously with rook d to d1, defending the back rank. We have queen to g5, king to h1, so stepping out of this queen to e3 check. Queen to e3, queen takes c7, and here queen to f2, so the black queen uh, has sort of zigzag into white's position. Queen to a5 from Duda, so stopping rook to e1. We have queen takes a2, and now things start to get very messy because uh, white has this pass pawn on a4. Duda plays rook to a1, we have queen b3, and this pawn cannot be taken at the moment because uh, after queen takes a4, rook takes a4, then comes bishop to c2, winning material. So here Duda plays h3, making room for the king. Caruana plays king to h7, and here we have rook to d5 from Duda. And this is an inaccuracy because now white has some issues with his back rank. Uh, here queen to b4 would uh, give black an advantage. But Caruana didn't play this, uh, maybe he didn't see it yet. Instead he played bishop c2. Duda played queen to d2, bishop g6, and then queen back to a5. So now queen to b4 is possible. And this time Caruana sees it and he plays it queen to b4. The point is that if this queen moves away, for example queen to a7, then here black has rook to e1. Uh, so if white tries to defend with rook d to d1, then you simply take, and then you bring the other rook to e1, and after rook takes, queen takes, uh, this bishop is pinned, and if that is defended with the king, then simply bishop to d3 uh, would win a piece for black. So here rook to a4 from uh, Duda, we have queen takes a5, rook takes a5, here rook takes d5, and here uh, in this variation, white also, uh, sorry, black also wins a piece after rook to e1. So with the idea of going bishop d3, uh, Duda plays king to g1, we have bishop d3, rook takes c5, rook takes f1, king to h2, and here rook to d1. So Caruana puts his rook behind the pass pawn, and despite being up a piece in this position, it is not so easy for black to convert because if white manages to trade off these pawns, then he should be able to draw this position. King g3 from Duda, bishop to f1 with ideas of going rook uh, to d2, king f2, king g6, h4, bishop d3, and here h5 check from Duda. So this is quite a sneaky move. If the pawn is taken, then you go d6, and here black has to give up the bishop uh, in order to take this pawn on d6, because if something like king to g6, then white can play rook to c1. And if that is taken, then after d7, uh, black has no way of stopping this pawn from queening. So here king to f5 from Caruana. We have rook to c7 going after the pawn on g7. Uh, king to f6, rook c6 check, king g5, rook to c7, again going after this pawn. Uh, and here, if you take uh, the pawn on h5, white goes, rook takes g7, and this king is uh, really cut out of the game. So here, g6 from Caruana. We have h takes g6, bishop takes g6, and here rook d7, defending this pawn. Rook d2 check from Caruana, king g3. Bishop d3, rook to e7, bishop to f5, king to h2, and here h5 from Caruana. Here if black plays uh, rook takes d5 instead of h5, 
Then white can go g4 and after something like bishop d7, king to g3, with ideas of f4 and g5, uh, eliminating this pawn, then white would have pretty good drawing chances. Well, assuming he knows how to draw with a rook against a rook and a bishop, which I'm sure any 2700 GM would know. So here after h5, d6 from Duda. Again, if that is taken, then g4 would eliminate this pawn, then white draws quite comfortably. So here, uh, h4 from Caruana, trying to keep winning chances alive. Rook g7 check, king f4, rook to g8, and here rook takes d6 from Caruana. So allowing Duda to play g3 check, eliminating the final pawn for black. King takes f3, g takes f3, rook d2 check, king to g1, bishop g4, rook f8 check, king g3, and h5. Duda simply gives up this pawn. And from the looks of the live stream, he is very comfortable that he can draw this. Caruana plays bishop takes h5. We have rook to g8, bishop g4, and here rook to f8. So it's very important to keep this rook on the f-file uh, to prevent white from getting mated uh, with something like rook to d1. So here, Car uh, sorry, Duda just keeps the rook on the f-file. So Caruana tries to push, well he can push for 50 moves, and then after that it would be a draw. So Duda just keeping the rook on the f-file. Here king, uh, rook to g2 check, king f1, rook to h2, uh, threatening rook to h1, so therefore king g1 from Duda. We have rook to e2, uh, rook to f8, rook to e5. Again, keeping the rook on the f-file, and here bishop to f3 from Caruana. So this stops the rook from uh, continuing its path on the f-file, but here a very nice trick that you should remember is to play rook to g2. And this cannot be taken, well, can be taken, but if black takes it, then this is still mate. So king to f4 from Caruana, continuing to push on for a win. Rook a2, rook to e1 check. The king now comes to the second rank. Rook to h1, rook to a7. So another idea is to always give checks on the side. So here we have rook h2, king g1, rook g2 check, king f1, bishop to e4, rook to a3, cutting the king uh, from the third rank, rook to b2, king g1, bishop f3, rook a7, so he's just keeping this rook uh, active along the sides and giving check to the king. King g3, now the rook comes to g7, bishop g4, and then rook f7, so now Again, defense along the f-file. Rook b8, rook f2, bishop f3, rook to g2. Again, if this is taken, then it's still mate. So king to f4, rook a2, and this continues on for quite a while. <clears throat> but here Duda uh, shows very good defensive technique. So again, uh, trying to give checks on the side. Here, king g3, rook g8, bishop g4, rook to e8, rook to a1, rook blocks, rook to a5, rook to e8, rook d5, uh, rook to e7, rook to d8. Here, rook to e7, king to f4, uh, king to f2. So this goes on for quite a bit. Karwana continues to pressure Duda hoping that somehow he would blunder, because at this point, uh, Poland were leading the match with a score of 2 to 1. Rook d2 check, king e1, rook h2, rook to a7, rook to e2 check, king f1, rook d2, rook to c7, king g3, so threatening mate, therefore give a check, bishop g4, rook e7, rook f2 check, king g1, Rook d2, so Caruana has tried almost everything and so far nothing seems to work against Duda. King to f1, rook to e2, so here uh, Caruana decides to trade everything off. Rook takes e2, bishop takes e2, and in this position uh, the game was drawn due to insufficient material.
So I do apologize for not explaining things much towards the end, um, because that would simply take up too much time as the game lasted for 118 moves. So after round 8, Poland are now the sole leaders of the tournament. So I hope you enjoyed this game and if you do, please subscribe for more updates on the Chess Olympiad. Thank you for watching and have a great day.